Welcome to Will and Rusty's Playdate, brought to you by Triple, the original high seltzer. Redefining the party landscape. Hey, let's talk about Factor. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every day even easier. Head to factormeals.com slash playdate50 and use code playdate50 for 50% off. That's code playdate50 at factormeals.com slash playdate50 to get 50% off. Let's get into the episode. All righty. Playdate episode 32, our Magic Johnson episode. Good poll. Thank you. Or Christian Leitner. I'd rather do a Christian Leitner episode. Okay. Yeah, why? He sucks. No, he's my, my favorite basketball player of all time. Are you a Duke fan? I grew up a Duke fan. More out of spite because my spite. my family was a UK f- family. I mean, it's just like bandwagon shit all around there. Well, no, they were like, they. my stepmom went to UK. My dad went to a, a tiny private school, so he didn't have a D1 team. So it's like... Yeah, I guess you're right. But you should be like a... Yeah, I don't even know. In Maine, what, like a UConn fan? We were all, like, all my bu- a lot of my buddies were Duke fans as well. BC? <laughs> no, but... um Went to the Sweet 16 in 08? Yeah, I watched Shabazz Napier play yeah. uh, in Madison Square Garden against M- Michigan State. He was a dog. He was a dog. D-A-W-G. He was a dog for sure. Shabazz, I think, is a really cool name as well. Yeah, that'd be weird if you had a kid named Shabazz, but I think... Looking objectively at it, I oh, think if it's I like, had a kid named Shabazz, yeah, there's, there's got to be racist somehow. Yeah, yeah uh, no, maybe not racist, but just sexist. Yeah, off-putting. Uh, yeah, people probably. I should be off-putting. Off-putting. I'm trying to get <laughs> off-putting. <laughs> um, God, too many sweets. I'm trying to get right. off-putting. <laughs> All right, let's give someone. <laughs> someone said. Someone said that they missed the roadmap, but I gave one in the last episode. Did I not? No, you did, but I think they missed it because you gave it like a minute in and you didn't preface it as roadmap. You were just like, all right, we're doing. Well, here's the roadmap, guys. (laughs) We got your pitches, our pitches. We got our still brand new favorite segment, Teach Me Something. Then we're doing, or we also have our pitches. Did I say that? Semantics. Um, Then we have song lyrics uh, we don't know if it's song lyrics that don't make sense or just bad song lyrics. Something along those lines. Yeah. Song lyrics that are kind of nonsensical. Yeah. And then uh, Pokemon that don't exist. Yeah, that one I'm Which should for. be fun. I'm oh, and, and Lauren's going to read some Am I the Assholes, right? I, the, slowly becoming my favorite part of the podcast. Yeah, I think people are liking them too. I feel like we're getting a lot more of those submissions than pitches. Well, yeah. Right. And people saying that they want us to call them. So we actually do have someone today. Oh, I'm so excited. That'd and they're free? Great. And they're free? Uh, oh, yeah, no. no. You, you do pay per, the mi- <laughs> yeah. per no, minute. Like, yeah. I have, meant, like, t- like they they have a gap in yeah, their schedule. Yeah. We, with Verizon, it's all No, I told her. her. I was like, okay, we record at 1 p.m. Pacific. So. Oh, I'm stoked. Do you, have, do you have any idea what it is? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, get into, we'll, get into we'll get into it. Well, I don't... Yeah. Um, Dude, I was... Well, I've, t- I've told you guys this, but I got to tell them what what happened to me last night because mm-hmm. it was actual hell i haven't heard uh, this no about my 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 drink switch up oh this is hysterical i had a i had a shoot for my youtube show 60 for 60 go watch it go watch it really also new youtube show oh, fuck rusty's new youtube show is fucking fantastic thank you uh watch it after this episode go watch 60 for 60 after this episode and then go watch my new show how cool unbelievable on friday beers it uh I visited the happiest town in the country. It's such a relaxing. It's, it's so good. I but, I'm happy with the way it turned out. But yeah. tell them what happened. Anyway, last, last night we get home. I get home from. I was shooting until like nine thirty or something. Yeah. So I get home at like nine thirty nine forty five. I'm exhausted. I go to tr- we we have our new presenting sponsor Triple, THC Which we're seltzers. Stoked about seltzers. It. Yeah, they're delicious. So I, they sent us a bunch. So I went home and I went to grab one of those out of my also, fridge. Also, for the record, this this sounds like this sounds like an ad. This but sounds this like we had ad. to do it. Like, or like <laughs> we, they, we told them we were going to do an organic ad. We didn't. This actually happened. This is not an ad at all. <laughs> also, this wouldn't even be an ad for them. This yeah. is like, if anything, <laughs> yeah. I guess the fact that I went I, anyway. I go to grab one out of my fridge, and I just I guess I just saw like the back of the can, and I grabbed it. So I'm sitting there on the couch watching TV with my roommate. What time is it? Uh, it's like getting close. It's about ten o'clock at this point. Yeah. Um, which is around my bedtime. I was just looking for a little wind down. And I, was, I would be, you know, out by 1030. Yeah. Three quarters of the way through. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I was like feeling like this, like 
kind of energy or whatever. Yeah. I was like, oh my god! I look at the can. <laughs> it was I grabbed the fucking Celsius out of my fridge. <laughs> so really I drank funny. three quarters of a Celsius right before bed. Yeah, uh, I was up for like two more hours, and then I slept for like four hours. Woke up in the middle of the night, couldn't go back to bed. Absolute disaster. Yeah. But the backs of the can, they're, it's these, you know what I mean? These tall cans, they all just kind of yeah. look the same. Can I, I th- again, this isn't an ad, but this, <laughs> this reminded me of it. The way the way that I've been using them is, <laughs> is um, I swear to God, I swear to God, not an ad. But um, I have been, you know, I'm up a couple LBs and I'm like, all right, I need to like, you know, g- get healthy again. And so I'm not drinking during the week and... Um, but, you know, I like to unwind. And so mm-hmm. I was like, I want to go for a walk, but, like, that sounds so boring. <laughs> so I just got high before I went on the walk. And it was so fun. It, it was like I was kind of making my way through Brentwood. And then I realized, like, I'm so far away <laughs> from, my, from, from my house. And um, and that was, like, when I kind of was, like, you know, at the highest you would want to be outside. And uh, I was like 30 minutes away from my house. But I broke a good sweat, and then I came home and... Which direction did you walk? Like, I don't know, like due east? What do you, what do you, what do you, like, <laughs> like, like you almost want to hit the beach so, at some point. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I mean, I'm in Brentwood. I, wa- I left my house, and I just walked... Uh, <laughs> Oh, that would have been west, I guess. I walked down San Vicente. No, I, the way I do it is I cross, <laughs> I cross Bar. This means nothing to anyone. We're telling I, people I, exactly where I you cross are. Barrington and oh. I walk into uh, this through this neighborhood, and then there's like a really steep hill for like you know almost a mile, which is nice. But it's like it's like a oh yeah, it's like not a steady. It's just yeah. a steady incline. It's nothing crazy. But if you, you know if you're if you're busting a move, if you're busting a if you're, if, you're, if you're walking fast. I'm just busting on you, dude. You, you get up to like, on is you. it sunset? You get up to sunset and then you just, I just turn around. But I realized how high I was and how far away I was from home when I was like on Sunset Boulevard. Got it's it. All these people like fly. Like it went from like <laughs> quiet neighborhood to just like yeah. cars like. <laughs> and uh, I touched the pole and I didn't want to like, I didn't want people to know that like that's what like where I was, you know, setting you and you touch the like, pole. Like just to be like. Because I, 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 I'm like, you have to touch that pole and then you can turn around. Oh, I see what you're but saying. it was clear what I was doing. And there was like, car is sitting there. And I went up and like sheepishly touched the pole and then turned around. And the lady next to me was laughing. The That's lady funny. in the car was laughing. That's funny. She probably thought you were. She probably thought fool. it was a fat fuck who had to, <laughs> had to touch that pole before I could go home and eat all my snacks. Did you, <laughs> um, did you listen to like music? Or I listened podcasts? to Jake Johnson's podcast, uh, We're Here to Help. Oh. Which if you guys have, if you guys like, again, not, again, not nope. an ad, not an ad, but uh, if you're looking for, you know, ways to kill time between playdate episodes, okay, but I really like. Where don't you're let it be a substitute. No, it's not a substitute. It it's won't. like a, it's like when you're in a pinch. Okay, you've run out of you've run out of playdate yeah, episodes. You're in like to a do. pinch. But he he's and you've hilarious. already listened to the Almost Friday Pod. Yeah, Empty Netters, Red Flags. Yeah, every podcast in our network. Yeah. Then, then you can go listen. Then to you it. can listen to a different He's one. He's yeah. so funny, dude. That's I a guy think from New Girl. He, Nick Miller, I think, is the best character in television. Yeah, I've never seen the show. Really? Yeah. It's, wow. I've another heard. another show you would yeah. like. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I always. Think what was the last like, one? Ancient Aliens. It was Sky High. Yeah, you hadn't seen. I always think you're like this, you know, eclectic guy. Cool guy. I'm an eclectic guy. I oh my god. Yeah, but you're pulling me? from different sources than me. Yeah. Like we, we you and I operate in very different, different circles, eclectic, I guess. Yeah. Um yeah, but he oh my god, there's the funniest story on one of them. I, I was telling Kate about this, but my sister put me on to We're here to help, but there's a story where we shouldn't keep doing an ad for another podcast, but I have to tell you the story. It's awesome. Okay. Okay. No, this is so, good. Then they don't have to listen to that podcast. Oh yeah. I'll just yeah, every week. Yeah. That'd be a good idea for a podcast. You come on and you give quick synopses of all, <laughs> all the other all podcasts. All the other popular podcasts. So it's just like, come here, I'll do it. Yeah. Um but you skip so all the boring this parts. woman basically the premise of their podcast is like they uh people call in and they give them problems, like kind of similar to our Am I the Asshole thing, but that's the whole podcast and they talk them through you know like how they would handle the problems and this one girl it's the first episode this is how i got into the show this girl is cat sitting her friends who live kind of like in a different town like i think it was a hike to get there okay and uh and she has roommates so she's like taking advantage of all this alone time and so she was like masturbating 
like in their like living room and like in the living room everywhere like apparently just fucking everywhere and uh on the <laughs> day that bring camera <laughs> on day seven she looks up and there's a fucking you know blink or like ring camera whatever it is in the corner just pointing directly at her with the light on no. and she panics and throws it out the window and just pretended like it didn't happen and she was like uh she calls back in like you know 30 episodes later with an update and she was like they haven't brought it up but they also haven't like talked to her were since. they friends they're friends but it would almost the way she was describing it almost sounded like maybe like family friends like it wasn't it wasn't yeah. completely like Why out of the they? question for them to not get in contact with her yeah but it was still like they obviously noticed their camera's gone yeah that's a nightmare it was crazy <laughs> Um, there was a time I was dog sitting. I, I wasn't masturbating in the living room, <laughs> but I was dog sitting for some family friends. I noticed the ring camera, and I was like, something about it always kind of freaks me out. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm house sitting right now, and they have cameras all over. The really? Inside. Yeah, yeah. It's really a, I don't know something it's, about it it's keeps kind me of honest. Strange, but I also understand like if they're having like a new babysitter, maybe. Yeah. No, these people but, were like they. I think they have it there for, for their dog or something. Like it wasn't the like the camera was. It wasn't for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. We had uh, we had cameras um, that would go straight to my dad's phone. Mm. So when he was out of town, like motion, he could like I don't think he was checking them, but it was more to just be like it was impossible yeah. in his mind to throw parties. But there were like so many blind spots, <laughs> like everyone's like drinking in that so corner. If, like, no, if <laughs> you could get into the house, he didn't have them in the house. So it was uh, like if you could get people in, it was fine. Yeah, and. Uh, there were so many times where I like thought we were completely getting away with it and he would like let it happen and then he would tell me the next day. Yeah. Being like, dude, like not even close. Like, there, was, <laughs> <laughs> there was one, there was one where it's me and you see me kind of eyeing it down on the way in from school. And like I thought me in the living room trying to form a plan was off camera, but you could just see me in the window trying to like figure out the best way to do it. <laughs> and then it's me coming up behind it with a washcloth and putting it on and uh what was the game plan? Did you say it went out? Yeah, but if you unplugged, like, the router, like, the mainframe or whatever, it uh, also told them, like... Someone unplugged the mainframe. Yeah. yeah there was one where I, I thought uh, I thought they didn't have one in the basement. Or I thought it was... Your like basement? A, yeah, I thought it was, like, a decoy one. And it's me... <laughs> Crazy assumption to make. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Like, that there, one's probably a decoy. The, there, were some, there were some that, like, we had security cameras that were... Like, my dad used to oh, say, like, like outdated. Secu security cameras would, like, keep the honest people honest. Yeah. Like, it's not actually about the recording. It's, like, I don't know, giving them a second thought, whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I was, you know, I think I was supposed to be at my mom's or something, and but I couldn't make it home because I was coming home from a party, and I went to sleep in our pool house, but our pool house wasn't insulated, and it's, like, the middle of winter, so it was, like, way too cold to be sleeping there. I was, like, fuck it. Like, I'm just going inside. Like, I don't care. And it's a, it's a, a, a st this one only took pictures and so I'm walking and the flash goes off and it's me like in my boxers. Like it literally looks like a Bigfoot sighting. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Wait, why couldn't you go inside? Cause he would know you were drunk. He would know that like, like, yeah, maybe cause I was supposed to be at my mom's and like, he would got like, it. why else would you be like sneaking into your own house? God, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Bigfoot sightings. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by our new presenting sponsor, Triple. Triple is the original high seltzer with 3 milligrams of THC and just 15 to 20 calories. Triple offers a social buzz similar to that of your favorite hard seltzer. Light on calories, high on life. It's all natural, gluten-free, and again, just 15 to 20 calories. I drank a couple and I went on a nice little walk last night and it was just a delight. Yeah, I also had a few. Uh... Finished out my, my pack of grapefruits that I had in my fridge. I'm going to be taking more from our office today. Uh, and I watched a little Survivor. And I can say with confidence, it paired fantastically. Uh, but yeah, no, seriously, they're great. They're they're uh, really like easy to drink. Um, only three milligrams of THC, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, Triple is born from a desire to blend THC's social buzz with the social ritual of sipping on a seltzer. Triple will be available in total wine locations, grocery stores, liquor stores, bars and restaurants in Florida and Texas in April, and it's currently available online nationwide. To get it now, go to drinktriple.com and use code PLAYDATE for 10% off your order. That's drinktriple, 
T-R-I-P-L-E dot com. Use code PLAYDATE for 10% off your order. Triple is redefining the party landscape, and it's time that you're a part of it. Let's get back to the end of the episode. Um, all right, should we hear some pitches? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We Can honest- I just say, good energy in this room. Yeah, I'm feeling great today. Yeah. I mean, I think it's... I've had two yerba mates, so I think that's... Yeah, right. you're, you're mate out of your fucking <laughs> mind right now, dude. I just went and got a coffee. I was, like, falling asleep. Before. But you're a blue bottle lady. The o- it's the only coffee I like on Abbott Kinney. I you don't like Intelligentsia? I don't like it. Really? I don't think it's good. Did I tell you I saw Robert Downey Jr. there? I think so. That's his ha- That's his old house right across the street. I know, or it's his office. Yeah, it used to be his office. Now it's someone else's house. Yeah, but uh, I saw him at Blue Bottle. And I said... It's delish. R.I.P. T- 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 Tony Stark. Did, you did Tony Stark that? die? No. I, I've ne- I'm i not a Marvel guy. I've you never can, seen tell me, any of the you Marvel... Tell me I get, think he dies, right? You could tell me he got blown. Doesn't to Iron Man die? Wait, Am I spoiled? Why would I know? Well, are none of us Marvel. None people? of us have ever seen a Marvel oh, movie. Oh, I'm. I don't know anything about. I've it. I've never yeah. seen any Marvel movie ever. Yeah, I, I think. Don't it's, like it's, oh, I've seen either. Guardians of the Galaxy. If that counts, I don't know. Sorry, that was kind of sassy. You're no, like, it wasn't. Why sad. would I know? No, it wasn't yeah. sassy. It was just like. It wasn't crazy. That, I think most people I think you, have. It sounded like you were taking offense to the fact yeah. that Will might think that you. That's payback for you being mean yesterday. Oh, yeah. What did you do yesterday? I he was out. being like a little sassy man. What no, we were, I was writing the you description. Being a little sassy man? I was writing the description. <laughs> I wrote, we had two, first time ever, we had two phone calls. And she said, no, we didn't. We had one. I was like, we had two. Like, how do you not remember this? It was yesterday. We had two. It he was because the one guy didn't answer. gaslight me. Yeah. I was inadvertently gaslighting you. So then I made the description. We had two phone calls. Only one of them picked up. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Anymore. No. I, in my defense, I was grumpy. Yeah. It's okay. In also, my, <laughs> Your Honor, he was hungry. Your Your Honor, can he we, was standing on business. Fuck off. Can we talk about the <laughs> the boy? He because he looks fourteen, writing in and saying that his mom hates me. Oh yeah. Hey guys, if you're listening who, to this, if you does he look fourteen? If yes. you. Well, let's not take it out on him. No, no, I think he genuinely... Take it out like, on his mom. I, I was telling Will this because we were trying to get to the bottom of like, okay, why would someone... Why would you ever like DM someone something negative? And I think we came to the conclusion that like, he, he just doesn't... People don't understand like the weight that their words hold and he was just like sharing a thought. Yeah. If you have... If you don't have anything nice to say, guys... Don't, uh, say, don't, say, don't say anything. Don't say him. Yeah. I just thought it was funny and I was like, Yeah. Yeah. If girl, you're like 40. Someone, someone basically said that their mom isn't a fan of Lauren. And I think. <laughs> no, hates, hates. Oh, hates? hates. Yeah. Well, I, I um, hate that kid's mom. Yeah. I was about to say. If you're listening, mom. If you're, if you're, if you, you guys are in the car Turn listening to this podcast right you. now, um, go listen to Jake Johnson's podcast close, for all close, I care. Close your eyes and just let your foot. No, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, let's get into the pitches. Wouldn't also, you guys keep sending them because I think they're, they've are they fallen off a bit. Not like in terms of Oh, am I the assholes or pitches? Pitches. We just haven't been getting as many, so yeah. continue. Yeah, um, continue to send. Yeah, send us some pitches. Yeah. Okay, this one is from Sunita Kartha. She says... That sounds, like a, it sounds like an important document. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Magna Carta. Oh, is that what I was thinking of? Uh, the Sunita Carta. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like something that, the like, sister discovered document. in a yeah. cave. That, like, yeah. She like says... Like a Rosetta Stone. It's the Functional Voluntary Rohypnol. I'm saying that correct, right? Functional Voluntary Rohypnol. Yep. Rehypnol. What's... What? Rohypnol is rape drug. It's like a date rape drug. What? Yeah, like puts you out. But yeah, like that's her pitch. Is it no. all right? Well, let's hear what she. There's there's definitely going to be contact. All right. Hello. Will. I can't imagine Lauren just picked. This. You knew that a little too well. What? Hello, Will. I Russ. rip no myself all the time. Is it real? Are you being serious? I've never done it to myself. Obviously, I was joking. But rip, uh, hypno, rip no is like if you get it's like ru- a roofie. If you get roofied, it's probably rip no. Okay, got it. The only reason I know that there was a vine where the mm. guy goes rip no damage control rape drug. Got it. Hello, Will, Rusty, and Lauren. But let's hey. be honest. Uh, really just hello, Lauren. Okay. Bang. Well, well, it's because I'm the only one that really reads them. That's my Oh, assumption. okay. Yeah, I like that. Guys. Long, okay. time, long time lurker to the pod. Wanted to pitch an idea. Inspired. Lurker? Yeah. That's fun. Wanted to pitch an idea inspired by things going on in my life. Do you have something... <laughs> 
wait, do you ever have something happen to you and it's just sitting wait, at the back? About, of- can I just say something? There, there is something very funny about you. Like you make very funny facial expressions when you're reading them. Like that was a fairly normal sentence, and you were like, "What the fuck?" Well, well, because <laughs> based off of we just met, we're talking about what Rohypnol is, and then she's like, "Things going on in my life," so I'm oh, hoping that it's oh, not. Oh, I see what you're that's saying. That's why I made that. Yeah, phrase. hopefully there's not anything going on in your life with yeah, Rohypnol. It sounds like yeah. All right, well, just do it. <laughs> I think I know where this. I think this reminds me of something, but I don't know yet. Uh, okay. Um, blah blah blah. Do you? I don't blah know. blah blah. Yeah, you do do that. You what? just omit information, <laughs> like based off of what you see fit. No, I actually, I'm not omitting information. It's just like this is not going to be read. the Lauren can't read allegations. Someone <laughs> said that again. Wait, also for wh- whoever commented that I can't read, the DMs people send. There's typos yeah. left and right. I don't in, know what's going their, on. I can read. In that commenter's defense. There was a point in time where I was convinced that you had just memorized a bunch of words. You guys didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you ever have something happen to you that's just sitting at the back of your head bothering you? You yes. try to do the therapy exercises or whatever to compartmentalize the thing and get back to being productive, but it's still bugging you and distracting you. Yes. Why don't you just write oh. the problem down somewhere to revisit later and take a functional voluntary rohypnol instead? The pills will come in a series of doses that will raise the last 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour. <laughs> You can take multiple hour pills if it's been a terrible night. Yeah, this is like no. I okay. Wait, <laughs> she's on to something. Roofing yourself. <laughs> there has there has been a thing that I said to someone, and it's n- I've been like it's not bad. It was just like I like toe curlingly cringy thing that I said, um, yeah. and it's like it's actually been consuming my life for the last two weeks. Yeah. No, I I know the feeling. In the bathroom, every time I go to that bathroom downstairs and I have a moment to myself, it pops into my head. Did it happen there? No, but it's just like that's like such it's like a, such a shoebox little room. Yeah. I literally mo- like twice today, head in hands have been like, "Oh, like I wish I could just forget that." Was it at work? Yeah, that's a No. Oh. That's to a that's friend. uh yeah. Toe curlingly cringe. That's yeah. Funny. Was I was bad. thinking of, well, now I'm thinking of everything b- embarrassing I've ever done. Yeah. Um, but I, it reminds me, I mean, either of you guys watch Arrested Development? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, th- there's like a whole like plot line at one point where Job starts roofing himself, but then the, <laughs> the consequence of it is that he also, he forgets the things he did, but he also forgets that he roofied himself. Yeah. So then he just gets in this like vicious, he for, like he walks into the store and like, or like wherever he's buying the roofies, and the guy's like, "You were just here twenty minutes ago." And he's like, "What are you talking about, idiot? Give me the like." <laughs> so anyway, seems like a danger. It could turn into a dangerous cycle. Yeah, because then if imagine you you roof it yourself, then you go and read the thing, and then you're like, "Oh, I want to forget that." So then you take another one. I wouldn't write it down. I would just yeah. Here's here's what if we could do controlled, like like hyper specific rehypnol so it's like with like a, a specific memory yeah so it's just i write it down yeah. i write it down i would do that i swallow the piece of paper <laughs> and then the pill like latches onto the words and yeah. sears those out of your brain yeah i love that all right so we tweaked that one a little yep. and made it good great <laughs> okay Not no, that it, it wasn't was, good it was good it was good this next one is quite silly it's from that sounds like something might be up our alley it's from moose I don't no, know. What a moose! I don't know his actual name, but that's probably his name. I know a guy's name. Really? I, had a boy, moose. I knew a guy named Moose. He was a regular at my bar. Oh. Yeah, but his name was like Moosala or something. Oh. You want to know a great name that I heard? Speaking of uh, Jake Johnson and Nick Miller, he has. A, there's a guy that sits at the bar in New Girl called Kevin ninety seven. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his pitch is the spaghettier. Have you ever been eating spaghetti and couldn't get any of the topping on your fork? Worry. Yeah. Worry not anymore with this spaghettier. This machine turns your toppings into spaghetti noodles. <laughs> oh. Simply put your topping of choice into the machine, turn it on, and boom, out comes your noodles. For example, chicken. You've tossed the chicken into the machine. Oh. No. <laughs> uh, you toss the chicken into the machine, select how many noodles you want, quantity of 12, and press start. The machine. <laughs> That's such a crazy detail. <laughs> Units of 12. Yeah, they need to be dozens. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the machine starts pumping out chicken tending noodles that you can cook and add with the plain spaghetti and not have to worry about digging around trying to get the pieces of chicken or other topping on your fork. We will also sell gadgets that can make different types of pasta. Yeah, I mean, so kind of the, the most disgusting thing I've ever heard, but... 
Here's here's kind of my in a noodle. No, I don't either. But here's my qualm <laughs> with it. It's not that it's not that like I think it's um bad because I think some people would like that. I think both of us probably that rubs us the wrong way. Pass. I think Moose, what you need to understand is that like that struggle to get, you know, the toppings that you want in that same bite is kind of part of part the of whole the process. And I think it would ruin whatever dish you're thinking of for you a little bit because you wouldn't have to work for it, right? So, like, Mrs. Tarling used to make chicken and bow ties. And sometimes, like, the bow ties just don't stick on your fork as much as you would want them. Of course not. But the beauty is kind of in the struggle of getting that perfect bite. So yeah, I, I mean, think, that's like, what if, oh, here's my solution to baseball. Everyone gets a home run out of that. Yeah, it, right. Like, yeah. Get real, Moose. Would I, I wouldn't go to that game. No. Come on, Moose. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's all like imagine your ice yo know, your ice cream just doesn't drip all over your hand anymore. Yeah, it's like you who, don't have to race to get who that ice wants cream down. That who not me. Wants that. I don't know. I really don't know why you guys are so against this. I think it sounds kind of cool. Oh, uh, sorry. Like I'm picturing. Well, I, let me just explain what I'm picturing. <laughs> spaghetti, but then if you have like broccoli and what else goes in spaghetti? Okay, let's Pesto. stick with the chicken. Imagine how pretty all the different noodle colors would be, like the green and like the. I don't gray. know. I think if you think rainbow it- noodles could just be the spinoff for kids. Rainbow noodles. Yeah. Does <laughs> yeah, that my exist? Vote. Lauren, Whoa. I think I think we that, might get rich off of that. Lauren, I think you're living in you're living in you know a, just a soft. You're you're what's wrong with America right now is that like everyone wants. Everyone wants their noodles to be easy to eat, right? It's true. No one wants to work for the no noodles. No one wants to fucking work for the noodles. They just want to get everything handed to them. Oh, oh get, my chicken. F- yeah. Get fucking real. Welcome to America. Sorry we're not yeah. socialist freaks. Yeah. Enjoy your. Sorry we hey, care mo- hey, moose, about. Hey, Moose, you know where that idea might work? Sorry we weren't. Communist be- Russia? Yeah, communist Russia would might love that one, Moose. That took a turn. Get fucking real, Moose. Come on, man. This is no. Weird. I'm just joking, Moose. I actually I like I where be... I like where your head's at, yeah. but it's just not for me. Okay. But that's nothing to do with your character. I sound like a pretty cool guy, to be honest. Are you confiscating that? What? No, I was. Yeah, you know. Wait, what? Actually, I'm going. Yeah, I was making noise. Can one of you pick up that thing on the ground? It's bothering me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Oh wait, Next. we have pitches now. Next up. Here's my pitch, all right? Yep. TV with a sensor on it. <laughs> every the Xbox time, Connect. No, yeah, but like every time, like you were watching a show and you, if you stand up, it pauses. Yeah. Because I hate like, uh, like I have to pee and then I'm like, where the fuck is the remote? Where yeah. The fuck is- I, again, I think Samsung might have done this. Well, I, I, that's just why I hate capitalism. Should I look it up? <laughs> Complete 180. Google like, Google like Samsung automatic pausing TV. TV pauses when you, well, it doesn't, yeah. Well, maybe maybe get rid of Samsung in case it was a different company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, down that click of that. Yeah, the Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Just see what. I think this is just someone's ID on. Yeah, no, I know, but like someone yeah, in the comments will say, ideas. "There's a patent. There's a tech giant." All right, I'll give. It it to sounds you. like we could get hey, that. You're safe at home. I'm safe. Um, automatically. Yeah, <laughs> if it was Moose's choice. I, I, my pitch is I don't know what it's called. We can probably brainstorm this. What I've been noticing lately is I'll be driving to work or driving somewhere, and you know I just listen to my liked songs. Like yeah. I have playlists, but like they're sometimes they're outdated, sometimes they're just not right. Um, and I'll be listening to the music, and I don't feel like it necessarily reflects how I'm feeling, or sometimes I just feel like I can't like relate. To what is what's uh what's in the song and so every morning you just type in like you know this is what i'm going through this is kind of what's on my mind like this is like the vibe that i'm feeling whatever and it finds songs about like the issues that you're dealing with or whatever yeah and so when you're like i feel like this might exist this is like spotify has like all sorts of playlists i, for, feel like, like, I don't think mood. they have this i feel yet. like one of you pitched this or someone pitched like a mood Song. Yeah, but this is like this is like songs that are specifically about. Like, what I'm you're... driving to work. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's like <laughs> no, it's like my, it's like my. Um... Oh no! Remember when you guys were singing those little songs? We made a clip out of it. Oh, what yeah. was that? What is it? I'm driving. I'm driving. No, that to... was jingle. That was a jingle that wouldn't. That would. It would turn all your to do list into oh, like a fun jingle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm driving to work and I'm. 
I need to go to the mail store, but I keep putting it off. The mail I, store? Yeah, where the hell is that? Where do I ship something out of this town? Any ideas? I don't even know. You know what would be funny? The mail store is just you can buy you can buy other people's unclaimed mail. <laughs> this girl in my apartment, com- I'm assuming it's a girl. This uh, What? Let me guess. Shopping? <laughs> shopping related. I'm joking. Lauren, I'm doing a joke. Shopping, pain. We have a mail, we have like a mail room. <laughs> we have a mail room. I have a pink phone. <laughs> Caleb Williams as an ally of mine. I love it. I don't like Caleb Williams. We have a mail what? We have a mail room and like sometimes packages just like don't show up, but she this person is like convinced that they're getting stolen, which is possible, but I just doubt it because there's whatever. Yeah. And so originally it was like a note that's like this package like went missing like if you have it like winky face like bring it back or something like something super passive aggressive like i don't think anyone stole her package i think it just didn't show up and then now there's a bunch of like like gold like smile you're on camera things and it's just like it's putting me on edge because it's making i feel accused of something that like Sounds i didn't like do. you might have, did you steal her package i didn't there's one chance to come clean and we won't arrest I did, you I did, next time i will citizens I didn't, arrest you on I didn't the spot steal, yeah what's what, the we what, gotta yeah, do I that more to say What's the what is the line for when you can and cannot citizens arrest people? I don't know, but is it I just at like my discretion? Feels underutilized. Yeah. You're, How is that even a thing? Google like yeah. Google like yes. brutal Go- citizens arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Top five citizens arrests. No, no, not actually brutal. Just Google like best citizens arrest. Pursuit suspect tackled in citizens arrest. I mean, is that citizens arrest compilation? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Should I just do this one? Yeah. This is so long, though. I think it was start I don't really want to watch this. Yeah, can we just maybe do it later? Yeah. This is already pissed. <laughs> uh, the ad just really... Yeah, like get it crazy. out of my fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay, but speaking of um, the stealing packages, people do do that. And I have a friend, like a mutual friend. Yeah, but within friend. the mail room? Like, yes. You, no, listen to this. That's this, ballsy This girl, fuck. I like saw her, she put on her Instagram story, someone in her building, she ordered like bedding or sheets and then she... Cause she, I don't, I don't know. I guess talked to the doorman and like they watched the footage back. She saw this man like he. T- so he took her package and then she, he was using the tote bag that the package came in. Like the next day, like there was footage of him like with the shit that she ordered. <laughs> I don't know. Madman. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's it happens. crazy. I mean, I think it, like I have seen people coming up to your stoop and taking it, but if you live in the same building, it's like that's yeah, crazy. I mean, we got. Do you remember someone mailed us? The only time anyone's yeah, ever mailed us something got sold. The salsa salsa mega and the, the share and the share pods. I know, I'm pissed. Fucking bitch. Seth. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? In fact, testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men aged 15 to 35. With April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com slash TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use promo code PLAYDATE for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. I just got my hands on, uh, like, they they sent, like, a big package with all the goodies. And not to get graphic, but there was... uh, ball deodorant and it has actually changed the game for me i noticed that yeah <laughs> it's not as unbearable sitting next to you now i just got my hands on one of these today a little lawnmower action and uh i'm excited to get in there and, and get to mowing yeah uh yeah it's you're it's, gonna let me get in the nooks and crannies though, yeah right? <laughs> in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for comfortable and easy grooming Manscaped is committed to raising awareness and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. That's why they will be donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society. Help save lives and balls by going over to manscaped.com slash TCS and sharing their funny educational check yourself video. And while you're at it, grab 20% off and free shipping with code PLAYDATE because like a famous American philosopher once said, take care of your chicken 
your balls, and your mentals. Managing and worrying about body odor used to take up a lot of my time. I was paranoid about smelling, especially around midday. It was all extremely time-consuming, but not anymore. Since I switched to Mando, a whole body deodorant, I freed up so much time. Uh, I built a deck, and I learned taxidermy. Um, I built a Lego set on top of a house. In all seriousness, I have been wearing my Mando deodorant. I think people are starting to catch notice. I think the ladies, I'm turning some heads, let's put it that way. Uh, and it's safe to use anywhere on your body. It's created by a doctor, so you know you're not putting all sorts of weird chemicals all over your skin. It's making me smell better than I ever have. I feel good. Mando Starter Pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice, like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. Luckily, I have a discount code to help you get hooked on my favorite smelling whole body deodorant on the market. New customers get Five dollars off a starter pack with our exclusive code. That equates to over forty percent of your starter pack. Use code Playdate at shopmando.com. S H O P M A N D O dot com. Shopmando. Let's get back into the episode. All righty. Let's see who the ass wipe is. What if it was Am I the ass? Wipe? Am I the ass wipe? That's our section. Maybe that's our segment. Okay. I'm having a rough day. No, you aren't. You were having a good day until 30 seconds ago. Okay. So (laughs) things can turn on a dime. Correct. Okay. I'm going to do, we'll do, uh, we'll call the girl after this one. So this guy says, I'm not going to say his name, but hey, Lauren and friends. Don't like that. So kind. I like that. Uh, it makes you feel small. More, 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 more being nice to Lauren. No, I've, most people are nice to me. Yeah. Um, I'm listening to the newest episode right now and thought I had a. Am I asshole to share? Feel. Oh, he said feel free to call, but we can see if we have time. Okay, so we should ring him. Okay, so here's the situation. Here first, it's worth it. My roommate Stanley invited me to go on a double Stanley? date. Stanley. Okay, All right, so, dude. I don't know <laughs> anyone named Stanley. That's like. Th- like well, we're literally, about to say that's a cop might might be like one of the most common names in history. Not in our generation. Yeah, though. what? In Stanley? our yeah, in our generation? Okay, who said anything about our generation? I was just saying that's a funny name. I do that with every funny name, yeah, and suddenly were, no, this no, no, is no, like no, the, no, 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 no. Uh, that one held a little more. You were like Stanley. <laughs> no, I was like, and he's, he's in our generation. What do you mean? He's his roommate. What are you talking about? You know a Stanley? You know someone named Stanley? Uh, yeah, okay, probably. all right. No, you don't. No, I just meant, I just meant instead of being like, oh, Stanley, that's a cool, interesting name, you're like, Stanley? Yeah, I was like, Stanley? That's a crazy name. You, you're changing your inflection. It was, it, you were pissed. Oh, uh, okay. I'm, you were fucking I'm, furious. I, I'm so pissed his roommate's name Stanley, <laughs> I can't even fucking <laughs> form a sentence right now. Okay. My roommate Stanley invited Stanley? Me. What <laughs> fucking shit bullshit is that? Is that better? Oh, cock and balls. Now, Stanley? Fit, now I fit the narrative a little better? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Oh my That's goodness. what big media wants. So you want always, always a reaction. All right, <laughs> S, S invited him to go. Right, on you his... have to start it over because I'm lost. Okay, so here's the situation. My roommate Stanley invited <laughs> me to go on a double date with him and his girlfriend Tiffany and her friend Amelia. It kept getting rescheduled, which I thought was whatever. But I was talking to him about the date, and Stanley said he really didn't want to reschedule it again. When I asked him why he told me he was planning on breaking up with her after the double date on top of that he had postponed breaking up with her because he had to reschedule the date the last time that's so not a good whatever he, Sorry, continue. he told me this less than 24 before the date so my question is am i in the wrong for going on the date knowing that he wants to break up with her would i be wrong to cancel the date and lie about why and then also one i'm just gonna say, read this one now also one more quick one i found out my grandmother was in a cult but she doesn't know that it was a cult <laughs> Uh, yeah, we got we can skip to one here. Gotta, like, wait, 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 wait. I know. I like. I like that gives us a little peek into his brain, and I yeah. like. I like what's happening. In wait, there. so he's is he asking? He's the asshole for or Stanley's he's the say, asshole? No, he's asking if he's the asshole wait, for like, like should he go on the date? Okay, here's the thing. Even it because even if you and this girl now fucking hit it off. You are screwed because he's yeah. breaking up with the roommate of the girl or the friend of the girl. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't even go on. I would tell him to be like, dude, just break up with her. Uh, break up with her and let's not go on the double date so that I don't. Like, what if they like, what if he like loves the girl and then and then has to like cut it off because uh, Stanley bones him? 
I mean, maybe Stanley and if the Stanley and the girl break up, does that necessarily mean he can't be with Amelia? I think like y- y- a second date's gonna be pretty awkward. It's not like they're like dating, dating already. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't know. I think um, the question is like, how bad do you want to meet Amelia? Yeah, what's Amelia's deal? I would have to understand more about your relationship with Amelia. I guess. I think it's just her friend. Yeah, so the I'm, friend of a friend's girlfriend is always pretty. So yeah, maybe just go for it. No, I don't know. Wait, I was, wait. I'm confused. I might have missed this, but is, yeah. are, is Stanley not want to go on the date anymore? Stanley wants to. He's like, I don't want to keep pushing this back because the second we go in, it, I'm breaking up with it. Got it. Also, why is Stanley? Why like <laughs> he's he's never seeing his girlfriend unless they're on double dates. Why doesn't he just break up? Yeah, with her? it feels like. Or is he not breaking up with her because he wants to set our guy to meet Amelia? A lot of questions. We, I, I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, let's give him a ring. Give no, well, ring. I was going to say, should we talk about the grandma thing? No. Also, <laughs> no. One thing at a time. Yeah, I can't even <laughs> fucking process should that Should I just part. call him? That's yeah. overwhelming. Give him a ring. Overwhelming. I love this sound. It's so fun. It's so yeah, we, our phone, it makes it, it's like way more like calming. Hello? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm, this is so cool. So, <laughs> <I'm great. laughs> um, so we just wanted to ask you a couple of questions because we're, we're trying to, you know, figure out the best option for you. But I think what Will and I need from you is maybe like a little backstory on uh, like, what's Amelia's deal? Like, how important is it to meet her? So, okay. So it wasn't like, super it was just kind of like we were gonna like it just got set up right and it was like we were gonna meet it wasn't like super important and it kept getting like rescheduled right like it wasn't even that big of a thing um like we i actually just came back from the date oh it was really awkward because i didn't even really talk to her that entire time oh and so it kind of like what ended up happening is, is it didn't really mean much or anything. And I even told him he should just cancel it. But he said he already postponed it once breaking up with her. Mm. So he didn't want to have to do it again. Yeah. By rescheduling it because he thought he wanted me to have the opportunity. To meet Amelia. To meet Amelia. But you guys didn't hit it off. We didn't hit it off. And the other thing he told me was that. He just found out that she's planning on going back to British Columbia. Whoa! Okay. Which um, is like the other side of the country. Um, so it doesn't even matter if it We're did really hit off because she would be moving permanently to the other side of the country. Yeah. yeah. You're not in, in in the Vancouver area at all? Um, I'm on the complete opposite side. I'm like the <laughs> Quebec Ontario area so it is like complete I'm just I'm just gonna say it's it kind of sounds like you got out of this scot free yeah which is nice like it doesn't sound like you're missing out on anything with Amelia did he break up with his girlfriend no so the, <laughs> the part that was awkward was I knew the whole time that he was gonna break up with her yeah yeah she didn't and she was like really invested and obviously like really into him and the entire time he was like didn't even really look at her like didn't want to like even mm. kind of be around her so i knew the entire time and i'm just kind of walking like knowing that that's kind of a bad position to put you in. i was about to say it sounds like stanley kind of boned you didn't even set he didn't really set you up for success there cuz if you know a breakup is coming pretty hard for you to put any attention on Amelia, it feels like. Yeah. Well, exactly. Because, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, be like, oh, hey. Well, like, we, we were having a conversation about, like, something and, like, about, like, names or something. And she looks to him and she's like, oh, like, I wonder what we'll name our kid. Oh, no. Stanley and Jr. <laughs> I, yeah. I just kind of, like, it's hard for me to go, like, and, like, try and talk to Amelia if I just yeah. had that happen. Like, yeah. It'd be really funny if, like, you know, you're trying to get to know Amelia and you're like, so, like, what are you into? And then he just starts breaking up with his girlfriend on the other side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it sounds like he, Stanley's got to bite the bullet to yeah. get this over with. Yeah, I don't really. It's it was kind of awkward. I was gonna try and cancel it, but if I canceled it, I don't, I don't know what I was gonna. Yeah. Well, this is it, yeah. this is good though. It resolved itself. Yeah. At least it's over. Yeah, I was really stressing out. I think I messaged you guys last night because I was like, I I really don't know how this is gonna plan out. <laughs> Wait, the date was last night. It's gonna happen. Well, so it happened. So he told me that he was planning on breaking up with her, like officially last night because we were gonna reschedule it. And Got it. I was like, man, maybe we should just cancel it. Yeah. And he was like, well, I don't want to cancel because then I might have to like reschedule the breakup again. I, my That's question, a crazy line yeah, of logic. Will and I have been trying to figure out why, why, like, why did he have to wait until the double date to break up with her? Why didn't he just? He wanted to set them up first. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Well, so right. allegedly, the double date was supposed to happen like a month ago, right? Gotcha. It kept getting rescheduled. And I was kind of fine. I was like, it doesn't need to happen. Like, I got her Instagram. We've, it's okay. But he was like, no, it, it has to happen. <laughs> I was like, I, I don't, I don't really feel that, like, I can go on a date with her myself. Like, it's yeah. okay. And then he was like, oh, no, we have to have it. And then it got canceled. And then he was like, really mad about it getting canceled because it meant he had to postpone the breakup. There's something going on. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something. Stanley had ulterior motives. Yeah, I just don't. I just can't figure out. Maybe what Maybe had like were. a gift card to that restaurant <laughs> or something. <laughs> I, I really don't understand it though. That's the difficult part for me. Like he won like a dinner for four or yeah, something yeah. in like a raffle. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, well, thank you for thank you for picking up sharing. Yeah, I'm really we, glad that you guys read it. We like brushed over your grandma being oh, yeah. a cult. What was that about? Oh, um, <laughs> I had a, I had a great weekend with my grandma at um at her farm, and so she was telling me. I always thought that she, at one point of her life, had a farm in Tennessee. Um, but it turns out that it was called the farm in <laughs> Tennessee, Ugh. and the farm was a cult for com like a commune for hippies wow um and i did some research into it and she doesn't know it's a cult she like totally thinks it was like some great really chill place um everyone here's some so i just kind of don't know whether i tell her or like just let her kind of like let her be you gotta let her be how old is she (laughs) um she's like in her 70s but it was kind of funny because she was like Cause she was a soy technician at the cult. She like made tofu. Okay. Um, there's an article about it on Vanity Fair called um, "Sex, Drugs, and Soybeans." Mm. Wow. Um, so it sounds like high school. Yeah. <laughs> that was Will's <laughs> nickname. Um, what do do you fear for? Like do the people there seem nice enough, or is it like is there a possibility for danger? Like, are they just I in a cult for the sake of being in a cult, or are they like a bad people? Well, it's transformed into, so I, I, so here was why I was going to tell her, because I realized that, so she left the cult because her and a group were going to start a commune here in Canada, but it didn't end up working because of property rights. So they just ended up not having their commune i guess yeah i mean i've always been subscribed to believe that that less the less communes the better i think i I don't know maybe just let her be if if she was like 40 maybe tell her but i think like you know she's already made it this far she's probably got some pretty high status in the cult like it'd be kind of a shame to let that go to waste yeah well i mean i never knew it was a cult i would go there we had like a group of people going to like random place every summer and i was like oh this is the greatest oh hmm. well if so, if you I, liked it then it, it, it can't like, be that maybe bad maybe it's like your grandma went to summer camp <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah like it was there was like some odd parts i mean like we all did a chant before we ate but like that, is that true that, like, yeah like we all held hands and we like do like a like a do you remember the chant you by went chance? there yeah I, well, no, no. Okay, so there was a cult in the seventies called the Farm. Yep. And it did a changeover to be less cult-like because it was like 
really financially struggling. So like, yeah, one of the things they did is that like if you had a baby and didn't want the baby, they would just give it to a random family in the farm. But you could take the baby back whenever you wanted to. Ah, I don't mm. love so that. it was that like kind that. of cool stuff. Anyway, so she moved, and they tried to make a commune in Canada. Yeah, but it didn't fully work out. So what happened is they would just go to this like area of cottages back every summer to have like a week of what they wanted it to be. Yeah, like you know, just chilling, right? Cold for a week seems on. fun. Yeah, cold for a week is yeah. definitely the vibe. Cold for like a week in the summer seems like a blast. Who was the leader? Was there like a, a guy who thought he was God? Uh, in the original cult, the farm, his name is Stephen Gaskin. Um, that sounds familiar. Yeah, he, was this like a big thing? I don't really know fully. I just thought it was a farm that had mm-hmm. like corn and, yeah. and stuff, but it was a cult, I guess. Interesting. Um, but uh yeah pretty much so then they tried to do a commune but the property had to be in one person's name and that person kind of backed out yeah so then they just do like a i guess quotation marks cult for a week yeah nothing wrong with a little cult retreat yeah a little yeah get your cult on all right yeah. all right well, that's yeah, great I it was real chill <laughs> yeah thank you for sharing and and yeah. calling in yeah Cool. Yeah. All righty. Search up the farm and it's got a documentary. About yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm we'll, going to be reading about this after. Yeah, we'll check it out. All righty. Have a, nice day, Have a good you day. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh. A lot to unpack there. Um, we have some interesting people. Yeah. They seem pretty cool. Um. All right. Should I do the other one? Yeah. yeah, yeah let's yeah. do the other one. Okay. Um, that was a lot. I know. Two, two and one two was kind of sick. Was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that for sure. I know. I didn't know if like you didn't want to touch on the grandma thing, but I was like, such an interesting. Grand- no, the grandma, grandma, the cult, the cult thing was interesting. Yeah. It is funny that she was just like, like, like that was their grace. They just do like a like a chant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was that was that was interesting. So also the fact that someone listens to the podcast in Canada, I don't know why that. Feels cool, it, but that feels yeah, cool. Yeah, it threw me off for sure. That's awesome. Okay. There was a guy who said he was uh, from... I don't know, there's something else. Taking a quick break to talk about Factor. Factor meals, uh, they're easy. They take literally two minutes to heat up. They're delicious. They're flexible for your schedule. You can customize your order when you order online. Uh, it's the perfect solution if you're looking for fast premium options with no cooking required. I've been eating Factor meals... They're delicious. I act, no joke had one last night, and it was something like it was a new one that I got. It was like mashed potatoes and like chicken, and then I had this broccoli with this like cheesy stuff on it. Absolutely fantastic. Um, seriously, I haven't had a miss yet, so I'm loving them. Uh, and I think you should try out Factor Meals too. Can't recommend it enough. Guys, head to factormeals.com slash playdate50 and use code. Playdate50 to get 50% off. That's code PLAYDATE50 at factormeals.com slash playdate50 to get 50% off your order. Let's get back into this episode of Awesome Podcasting. I'm just going to call Clara. because Wait, wait. Can we get a little backstory? Story? Yeah. Okay. Actually, maybe we could just ask her. For no, we should. I, I feel like it's good when we have like a little content. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's my am I the asshole and by far the craziest thing to occur at my apartment. I'm a senior at Purdue and my guy friends from high school go to IU. We have all become oh, friends. <clears throat> We've all become friends uh, with our friends at school and take turns visiting every few months. A couple of months ago was at the rival basketball game and it was at Purdue so they planned to come up that weekend and watch the game it was just going to be four guys that I went to high school with staying with my roommates and I but last minute they invited one of their roommates my roommates and I said it'd be okay because I'd met him once in the fall and he was pretty valid that's like I've never heard someone like like, to describe someone I don't know by the time they got up to Purdue, my roommates and I were already drunk at the bar. So Are these all boys? Or is I don't a- know. I'm like, it's all like one long sentence. Yeah. So it doesn't really make sense. Um, by the time they got up to Purdue, my roommates and I were already drunk at the bar. So we met up and continued to drink for a few hours. At one, we were all canned and we decided to go home with a few of the guys, including the kid we didn't know, to eat. All was fine and we were having some laughs. Okay, basically, long story short, it sounds like there was some random guy at her apartment they didn't know. Okay. So. And that's it? 
Well, she said we could call her. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> there was a I random like, guy at my house once. I feel like once. there was some terminology in there that I, like, Valid. Like slang, Valid's good, like, yeah. that I don't, I don't know. These kids these days, huh? Right, I guess. We're so old. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We just read your story. So we left off at the guy that you didn't know at your apartment. What's yeah. going on? Okay. So this story, I don't know what way you think it's going to go. It's not going to go the way you think it is. A- ate all your snacks out of the cabinet. That's my <laughs> that's my bet. I'm going to say he no. he he <laughs> peed on the TV. He put peanut butter all over oh. the doorknobs. Okay. We'll see. Uh-uh. All good. We got home and we were just like having some laughs, whatever. And then I deemed myself too drunk to like be hanging out. So I went upstairs and I passed out. I don't remember anything after that. And then I woke up in the morning and I just had a flashback to my roommates um, coming into my room in the middle of the night. And they were like saying something about the police. I don't know. I was really drunk. So I don't really remember. Mm -hmm. So I went and I texted my roommate and she was awake and I went to her room and she essentially told me that my friend from high school was hammered and he went on a rogue mission, like stole a bottle of Bacardi and ran into the streets. And then um, I I have my roommate here with me, too. She can talk and explain it a little better. That would be great. There for it. Okay, yeah, so Claire went to bed. I was with uh, her friends from high school. Um, he, We have, like, a bar in our kitchen. He stole a whole handle of Bacardi and went to go to his friend's house. And he was like, he has no idea where he's going because he's from IU and we go to Purdue. So about 20 minutes later, he calls us and he's lost in the middle of the street. So we're like, shit. So someone has to drive. Um, so we get in the car and it's me, my other roommate, and then Claire's friend from high school and this guy that we don't know. So he gets in the car and I'm like, damn, something kind of smells funny. But I I don't think anything of it, right? So we go pick up this guy. We come back. On the way back, the guy that we don't know starts wigging out. And he's like, I don't know where the fuck I am. Like, who the fuck are you guys? And we're like, oh, he's, he's being funny. No, he's having like some kind of psychotic breakdown. So... <laughs> he orders a hundred and fifty dollar Uber from Purdue to Chicago, and he's like, "I need to go home. I'm so scared." And we're oh. like, "Dude, chill out, chill out." So then finally, he's like, "I'm calling the cops." So he calls the cops, and he's like, "If anything happens to me, it's my <laughs> friends. They did this to me. He gives us the our, like gives the police our names." And we're like, "What the fuck? I don't even know this kid." So we get back to our apartment. The police show up. They're outside questioning him for like an hour, right? So me and my other roommate, we go inside and we're like, damn, that's that's crazy. So then we walk into the living room and we look at our couch and there's red vomit all over our white couch. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it's still, there's still there's a smell. And I'm like, gosh. So I walk in our bathroom and there's shit smeared all over the cabinets. Oh, and my. took a coop on the floor. <gasps> and we were like, what the fuck? So then about no. an hour goes by and... um the same, the can I can I ask just a quick clarifying question just for my own brain? Yeah. Yes. What like this is super gross, but like I need I need to know it just to like kind of paint myself a word picture. <laughs> what oh, like what is the consistency of the poop on the cabinets? Um, you did not have to ask soft. that. I need it. It's a very soft shit. Like he, he had it on his fingers and he like oh. wiped it on our white cabinets and then there's oh this like, little soft turd in the middle of the floor. <laughs> no, that is. <laughs> yeah, but then the, the cops let him go. Like after an hour of questioning, they let him go. And the cop lets him go because he's in the same frat as him. Nice. So we were like, Okay. Hey, yeah. brothers got to stick together. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever? He's, he's like, oh, nice. You shit bombed that yeah. those, those girls. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's like, he's like, what? What are they? What are? What are they? Tried out? Yeah. Probably, probably deserved it. <laughs> he comes back in the house though, and he goes, "What the fuck just happened, bro? I literally shit myself. I don't know who I am." Wait, why are you guys letting this menace <laughs> back in your house? I don't know exactly. who I am. Exactly. No, I really. The thing is. I met him once last semester, and he was super valid. Like, he hung out. He was, like, throwing some jokes. It was really funny. But when he came back, he was being funny, too. And then I went to bed, and everything went awry. I don't know what happened. I came back in, 
And then the police, I'm like, fuck. He's like going crazy again. He's like, I don't know who I am. I'm going to fuck this apartment up. And I was like, <laughs> fuck no. I called the cops again. They come and pick him up, right? So they come upstairs. They take all my information, like my date of birth, my address, right? On the information they got from him, all they wrote on the piece of paper was shit on me. <laughs> he literally shit on the outside of his pants. So the police take Ew. him to uh, other friend's house. And we were told that while he was at said friend's house, he's a dog. And the dog, like he was, they were trying to calm him down. The dog is just sitting there licking the shit off his pants. Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait, did, he never got in the Uber, evidently. To Chicago? No, can't, we canceled the Uber. They, yeah, they canceled it. Yeah, so why are the cops right just continuously like dropping him off at other people's <laughs> yeah. houses? Yeah, that's they, gonna, that's gonna take him in, but I guess they just took him somewhere. What like warrants and arrest at Purdue? He, do? he <laughs> would, <laughs> I guess nothing. nothing yeah. I mean, they didn't want him stinking up the station. They're yeah. probably like, we can't. We're not letting this fucking maniac in our car. <laughs> <laughs> holy, no pun intended. Holy yeah. shit. Uh, that's insane. Am I the asshole for like, no. passing out and my friends had to deal with it and they didn't know him? Wait, I, I think you just wanted to tell that no, story. No, 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 no. She has it. She has a point. She has a point. Here's here's the thing. <laughs> here's the, here's where I might shift a little bit of blame. It obviously it's not your fault, like how haywire this situation went, but I will say when my buddies from college would have their hometown friends over. And then go to bed before you, and now it's your responsibility not to like prevent that from happening, but just like for them to enter. T- like you're now in charge of entertaining someone else's friends. That's true. I think that's the only part where you could maybe shift some blame to you. But there's no scenario where you would have thought that it was that that guy was gonna like smear his poop on the walls and like throw up and call the cops. Like that's like. <laughs> That's like he yeah. called the cops on himself too. Is like the best part a comically like crazy predicament to find yourself in. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think no, I don't yeah. think you're the asshole. No, you're not the asshole. The and day, sorry, continue. It, we laugh about it still. Yeah, this is too good of a story. You had to clean it up, evidently. Yeah, wait. Did he we clean it? His friend do it. Did okay. he wake up at what happened when he woke up? So he woke up. And I was hell of a night, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He was like, uh, I guess the morale was really low over there, and then they decided yeah. to stay. They, I, they said he was just really, really drunk, but I feel like he was on drugs or something. Yeah, like, there's no way he wasn't. Yeah, I'm um, my my knee jerk is probably like PCP or something. Whenever <laughs> whenever you hear. Of, Whenever you hear about something like that, it's like almost bath salts. There was a kid. There was a kid uh, in the town next to me in high school who burnt his parents' uh, house to the ground when he was on PCP. And when the cops showed up, they said they it was his fraternity brother. They're like, "You're good." (laughs) The cops. The cops said that he flat foot jumped onto the hood or onto the top of a Honda Civic. They were like, "He was a superhero." Oh my gosh. Um, Well, yeah. Wait. So they. So he did all of that. They woke up and they were like, one more night? Yeah. Like they, stay, they stayed? Yeah. It's West Lafayette. He was at the Guardi the next day, and we kept calling him Poopy Pan. That's it, crazy. You guys handled this, like... I think I would have pooped on him you if seem, I saw him the next day. You seem, day. like, really composed about the situation. I would not be sharing any space with like, that guy. When we showed up at the Darty, he was wearing a hood and, like, standing in the corner. And I was like, well, 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 look who it is. <laughs> Yeah, Damn. I wouldn't have approached it with the same yeah respect. Honestly, calmness. Forgive and forget. I, the roommate, did not even fucking go near him. I was so pissed. Yeah, yeah. I was up until seven a.m. with this fucker trying to handle the situation. Yeah. yeah, well, you guys handled it with class. I can tell you that much. Yeah, respect. Not the asshole. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for that story. That's one of the craziest things I've ever heard. Problem. Hey, I felt like I needed to share it because you guys get some. Well, you get some wild stories. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck in the final four. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, we'll be celebrating. Hell yeah! All, All right. right. We'll we'll see you guys later. Nice. What? That was insane. Wow. Oh. I I you know scr- Poop on I, the walls. I, I strive to be as calm as they seemed in like a 
situation yes. of like pure pandemonium. Seeing him the next day, <laughs> hey, poopy pants. Poopy pants. <laughs> like making light of it. The guy, the guy almost surely took like a class one narcotic and like ruined your house. <laughs> That's college. <laughs> there was a there, there was, <laughs> there was a kid at my middle school. He used to buy fudgesicles and pretend he would smear it on the walls in the bathroom. It happened. Like, it happened like once or twice. But like smeared it on the walls and convinced like they had to like they had to like caution tape off the bathroom because they thought it was poop on the walls. Jesus Christ! Oh All my right. God! That was a fucking whew, ride. Yeah. Should we do some drafts? Well, maybe we should stick to calling one person. No. Why? No? That was awesome. That was oh, awesome. I don't know. That was so fun. Yeah. Thought, maybe let... I mean, I, I, mean, I thought let that us was, know. I thought if, that was great. If that was too much calling, let us know. I think that was the perfect amount. Yeah. I might even go for fucking three. Well, yeah. I just don't know if... It, maybe people want to hear us more, but I feel like we're pretty engaged in these conversations. Yeah. I don't know, dude. There, there's. I've never said anything is interesting. I know that's that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like I would, I would do all calls if it was yeah. up to me. Honestly, that's fantastic. Um, uh, should we draft some? Uh... Oh, excuse me. I already forgot Pokemon, and what was the other song? Song lyrics that oh, make no excuse sense. Me. All right, should we do Pokemon first? Wait, what about Teach Me Something? Oh, oh yeah, shit. You're right. Did you not come with one? No, I did. I did. I just I borderline forget it. No, I don't. I have one for you if you want it. No, I got it. I got it. All right. Lay it on me, Will. Teach me something. Bro. All right. This is about the, you know, the bridge that got, that collapsed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the, there's like obviously a lot of legal implications to that. And apparently like it's like, like who is like, responsible for yeah, the yeah, damage yeah. to the bridge. So there's this huge boat that's owned by the shipping company. It's got all this cargo on board. It slams into the thing. So obviously that company is responsible for the damage, which is like b- billions of dollars. Yeah. Maybe, I don't even, maybe trillion? Billion? No, no, no. Millions. Not, not, definitely not trillion. Trillion? That bridge is huge. The Portland, you know the Portland Bridge? Yeah. They used to be called, they used to call it the million dollar bridge. Oh, shit. All right. I way, okay. That's like almost but embarrassing. But adjusted, adjusted for inflation. Probably billion? Like 10, maybe a billion. No. I think the Golden Gate Bridge is. How much does a bridge cost? Yeah, Google, Google how, how much a bridge costs. Bridge, bridge for sale. Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Was, oh, what a dental what? bridge! He was, he was, he was, he was. I like how she, she, she. How much will it cost to build the bridge in the? Where is it, Baltimore? Yeah, yeah. how much? Baltimore Bridge costs. You yeah. type like really fast. How much will the? Four hundred million. Okay, all right, trillions. <laughs> Four hundred million is a lot. It's yeah, a lot. you weren't, you weren't that, you weren't, you, you were Billy. closer with billions. Yeah. yeah. Tr- <laughs> trillions is actually crazy. Yeah, it's like uh, our entire GDP. Yeah. Uh, anyway, wait. Time out. Uh, dream, dream guy to uh, to commission you to build his bridge. Yeah. He, has, he has no concept of how much it's going to cost. <laughs> so this will probably be like a trillion. <laughs> yeah, the bridge, the bridge builders like, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I think it'll be trillion. like a trillion. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what's up? Anyway, the, the, it's all coming down to this 1851 maritime law. Is like nice. the centerpiece of this yeah. lawsuit. That basically, I don't know what what was their motive was in 1851, but the law is that probably just this. If that, <laughs> if that happens, you can only be responsible for the value of that specific ship after the wreck and the cargo that was on it. And so, like whatever they sue that company for, the company's yeah. going to claim this eight, this 200 year old law. Yeah. That like people forgot about. So funny. And it hasn't really been used since the Titanic did the same thing. Yeah. So it's basically the company, it can't be at fault for more than the cost of that one ship. Oh, and, so there's uh, nothing to do with the bridge they hit. What do you mean? Like they can only come at they it's kinda like a like you know how people have LLCs, so you can only come after what's under that. Like, yes. They can only come after the one boat's worth. Hilarious. And it's the value it's of a the, lot of money. It's the value of the boat after it hits the bridge though. Oh, it's hilarious. So it's like whatever the value of like half a boat is. Yeah. <laughs> what's the back half of this boat cost? <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing they can get sued for. I can't speak for like other countries, but I always <laughs> think it's really funny just how like uh, well, we abide by these like rules Laws. that were made so long ago and obviously weren't meant for like the technological advances that we've made. Yep. Yep. Hilarious. Um, so they're going to get nothing. Yeah. I mean, they're going to get, yeah, I don't know, not enough to cost. You know what bummed me out? Not to bring this down, but like when you, I was curious, like, because there are people driving on that bridge. Yeah. No they, one... won't, they won't say like death, but they were like seven missing. No, like, those, those weren't driving. They were all construction workers. 
Oh, so they stopped uh, traffic. They they the boat radioed in that they lost control. So they. But you see a car drive by. Yeah, like that was like the last car to go over, and then cop cars got there like two minutes before, or like a minute before it happened, and sealed off both ends. Mm. So both ends were sealed off, and then there's if you can listen to the radio call, and they're like, like both both ends are sealed off, like no traffic on the bridge, and they're like, wait. Isn't there a construction crew out there? Oh. And they're like, we got to see if we can get them off. And then the cop just responds, I don't think we can. The whole thing just collapsed. Oh. Like all happened in like the span of like two minutes. Oh. Oh, wow, but like that. if you think about like poor. heroes, the cops that got like a random radio call that were in the area and just like sealed off the bridge or people yeah. would have driven right off. Yeah. Oh. Which is even crazier. Yeah. But yeah. I remember my dad was telling me, uh, you, you ever see that earthquake in San Fran like during the World Series? Oh, the, the bridge Oakland collapsed? Bridge, yeah. Like a lot of people on that bridge when it happened. Crazy. It's nightmare scenario. That's the my biggest fear, I think. I uh I was always really scared of the of the Casca Bay Bridge when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. The I was reading about the bridge in Charleston. Apparently they like they, they put out like the a statement after they're like, This couldn't happen at our bridge. And apparently what they do is like under the pillars, there's like a big mountain of rocks that goes out like yeah. that's like just under the water level, like it's like really wide. Mm-hmm. And so like there's a very specific shipping lane that the boats can go in, and if they veered off like the ship would be screwed, but they couldn't even get close to the pillar. So nice. the new bridge will have that, which is good. So this won't happen again. Yeah. But Pretty crazy, yeah. Yeah, bad, uh, either really good week or bad week to be a bridge bridge builder. Yeah, I mean, I guess you've got you're in, you got work. <laughs> sound like bridges are selling like hotcakes this week. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. When I when you see a pirate with uh, an eye patch, <laughs> here we fucking go. What do you, what do you like? What's your knee jerk reaction? Like, why they have that? Shot in the eye. Warren? Yeah, Cannon- I was going to say got poked out. Cannonball Cannon- to the eye. Cannonball. <laughs> <laughs> Cannonball grazed his eye. Cannonball the um, eye. That was what I thought, too. I thought, like, you know, perhaps a sword fight, maybe, like, an infection or something. Apparently, it was so that, because they were constantly going above and below deck, it was like that eye was adjusted to darkness, and this one was light. So they'd go under and, like, flip it, flip it up so that they already had an eye that was adjusted to the darkness so they could see down below deck. Like crazy. Oh, so they had to wild. see stuff really quick. Like they couldn't take like a second to. <sighs> Are they like sprinting back and forth? It yeah. sounds like it. That's but crazy. That's Isn't that cool. Wild? Where yeah, you, that is cool. Where do you but learn that? Cool pirate facts. I just Google. If you looked do at you my Google cool that's pirate a website? facts. Uh, I don't know if what the website was called, but like if you looked at my search history yesterday, <laughs> it was it's fucking nonsensical. <laughs> um, can I read you guys another one? Actually, I yeah. had another cool one. Uh, there was a guy. In Japan, who you know, we we bombed. I don't know if it was Hiroshima first and then Nagasaki after, but it was like in the span of two days, we dropped two. Was it nukes or atom bombs? Yeah, whatever. The same big bombs. Thing, this one dude was in the first place. To, he was like so close to the, you know, like b- big danger zone. Got smoked by the first bomb. Survives. Is like okay. I'm going home to Nagasaki. Oh my god. Gets to Nagasaki, he's in a meeting, and the second bomb drops and he survives that as well. That's insane. So he, sur- he survived both of our bombings. Almost certainly died of radiation later, right? I don't know, Google it. Google guy that... Because you know, like, in the blast was, like, a fraction of who died from the bombs. Oh, it's like people after? Yeah, after, what? like... Google after- guy survived both bombings. <laughs> both, both nukes. Both the time, yeah, both atomic bombs. Yeah. The man who survived two atomic bombs. Oh, there's a Wikipedia. He's still alive. Look oh, at him. Oh, what a cute man. Oh, my God. He is a little, I want to pinch his cheeks. So it's nearing the end. Uh, we dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki three days apart, killing at least 100,000 souls. So sad. Um, but so this, insane. This guy survived both devastating blasts. The 29-year-old naval engineer was on a three-month-long business trip for... His employer, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, and on August 6th was supposed to be his last day in the city. Gets smoked by the first one, then goes back. And yeah, it's hit again. Insane. insane. All right. Um, on that note. Wow. Okay. At that point, I'd be like, what the fuck? Is That's wild. Yeah. Uh, uh, are we okay. drafting now? Let's, let's draft some song lyrics that make no sense. I like this. First of all, I want to put a disclaimer. 
I'm sure that they some of these probably meant something to the person who wrote them. Yeah. And like some of these, even on Genius, there were like explanations, and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, still. I agree. But I think they're just, if we just got to take them at surface value to the average consumer. Yep. Because I don't want to disrespect the art. Um... I'm gonna start out. I'm gonna start out with uh, "Human" by The Killers. Mm. Not gonna lie, yep. st- I still think it's an awesome line. It just feels like you kind of mailed it in. Yeah, oh, yeah. Are we human or are we dancer? Yeah. No. What the? That's the S. Does that? I actually have no idea. Is there like an explanation? Did you? No. Try I think yeah. he was. I think he was. I think it's just a thing that makes sense to people on like Molly. It's a great song. Yeah. Are we human? Or are, or are we, we dancer? Yeah. yeah. So good. That's a good one. I listened to it on the way to work today. Dude, I just took out my phone to get this, and we're getting blown up by Caitlin. I saw that as well. We are, we are, Will and I are late for something. <laughs> I in, don't know what it is. We're in a podcast. I just sent that to her. I yeah. can't. It was stressing me out. Yeah, you're um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, um, okay. I, I wrote down a few, so I was trying to figure out one. Um, Tonight, Tonight by Hot Chili Ray. Yeah, it's a great song. Tonight. That, like, one of the fun parts to sing is like, I woke up with a strange tattoo. Yeah. Not your hot guy, not a dollar in my pocket, and it kind of looks just like you. Yeah. Mixed with Zach Galifianakis. What's yeah. going on there? Yeah, I would feel like a, f- I'd feel like shit. Like if a, someone, because I'm presumably it's a woman. Yeah, also like, she so blacked out. You yeah. spent every dime you had on a tattoo of... Yeah. A girl mixed with Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. I mean, that's. I, if I wrote that lyric, I would say, okay, no, that, that's go back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, are you guys familiar with Gouda Gouda? No. no. He, I, this is the only song I've heard with him on it, but you know, Bedrock. Yeah. Uh, like Mr. I yeah. love that song. So it's he, a great song. apparently, this, this bar like ruined his career because it's just so bad. But he says, uh, she don't got, she don't, oh, sorry. She don't even wonder because she knows she bad, and I got a grocery bag. What was that all about? And I got grocery bag. And I got so a that's like grocery bag. That's like the hardest line. Of the, yeah. <laughs> that is the hardest line of this. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't make it like sense. every time I'm like grocery bag. Yeah. Grocery bag. Yeah. I've never, I've never understood. That song's so good. It's like serotonin to the brain. But yeah, that makes no sense. When I was a kid, I remember thinking it was like a much softer song than it was, and I would put it on my iPod and put it under my pillow and fall asleep to it. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That is uh, a that is a weird one to fall asleep to. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Robbers, nineteen seventy five. Not familiar. She had a face straight out of magazine. God only knows, but you'll never leave her. Her balaclava is starting to chafe, and when she gets his gun, he's begging, "Babe, stay, 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 stay." Yeah, I don't like that one bit. Um, balaclava. Balaclava is like a like scheme. Yeah, it's like the thing oh. that like. It's like a shysty almost. Oh. It's just nonsense. It's yeah. such a fun song to sing, though. Yeah. I don't know that one. I, 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 I get in one more night when I know you. You don't know that song? No. Oh, I got to put you on. You're going to love it. But I love um, love It If You Made It. That's my favorite song by them. That's a good song, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, you guys know the Spice Girls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wanna Be by the Spice Girls? Yeah. If you want to be my lover, you got to get with my friends. I feel like that's the one thing I don't want my lover to do. That is, is uh, with my I think it means she wants I them. She wants him friends. to be friends with her friends. <laughs> yeah. Like could, the friends got. But I know, but I, but I think that's valid. Yeah, she could have phrased it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. If you wanna be uh, okay, I've got. Uh, <clears throat> or what if it's you know, like a, it's like getting jumped into a cult? Like if you want to hook up with me, you have to hook up with all my friends it, first. Yeah, like maybe it's the farm. Yeah, maybe it's the farm. You know, uh, it's called free fall. Yep, rainbow kitten surprise. <laughs> Opening four lines are, Call to the devil and the devil did come. I said to the devil, devil, do you like drums? Do you like cigarettes, dominoes, rum? He said only sundown, Sunday's Christmas. Yeah. Pretty sick. Insanely, it like sounds. Sounds really cool. I mean, that's the like all of her songwriting is like that where it sounds cool, but when you break <laughs> it down. Yeah. It's crazy. It's Wait, nonsense. Rainbow Kin Surprise? Yeah. Her? I thought it was like I thought that you, as well. You got some catching up to do. Oh, oh yeah. Thought... She transitioned oh. yeah, about yeah. a year ago. Wait, yeah, yeah. It's like a band, right? Two years ago. Yeah. The lead singer transitioned. Oh, cool. Yeah. Who writes all the songs too? Nice. Uh this one like makes sense, but I just it just, just always rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah. Uh Rebecca Black's Friday, she goes, Gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I feel like those things kind of go hand in it's hand. Like, obviously, yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. you have to have your bowl to have cereal. Yeah. Like, uh, I guess the other way around, maybe, but you could have just said the cereal gotta, part. Gotta have cereal, gotta have my bowl. Yeah. 
Or maybe maybe she's smoking weed I was before just she eats cereal. <laughs> she's probably doing yeah, dope. Me, me every morning, right? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Uh, you know, Garden Song by Phoebe Bridgers. Anyone? No. Someday I'm gonna live in your house up on the hill, and when your skinhead neighbor goes missing, I'll plant a garden in the yard. Then. <laughs> yeah, it feels like an insensitive time to be planting one or it's like why are you why are you on his side why are you why, or, are, you, why are you building or a maybe she's i think she might be celebrating that the skinhead neighbor yeah yeah i'd know. be celebrating i'd be jumping for joy yeah um happy <laughs> can't imagine what line of happy does be. <laughs> a room without a roof <laughs> clap along if you feel like a room without a roof <laughs> never once have felt like that <laughs> I want to. I want her bad, but I just I don't know what it means. Yeah, that would be a fun feeling. But yeah, and it's like, like picture. presumably at every concert, people are clapping along. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be some liars out there. I I know for a fact most of those people have never felt like that. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Restacks, Bonnie Vera song. Yeah, great one. song. Mm. The chorus is. On your back with the racks as the stacks of your load. In the back with the racks and the stacks are your load. In the back with the racks, you're unstacking your load. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't want great. anyone to be doing any stacking with my loads. <laughs> don't them touch to... my load. <laughs> don't <laughs> stack it. Don't rack it. Don't put it on your back. <laughs> don't paint it black. <laughs> Turn it back. Definitely do not paint my load black. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Um, I mean, he wrote that entire album in a cabin in the woods. So yeah, I think he, was, he was probably just he, losing his fucking like, They're gonna love this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> just stack in the back. Of the- hey, Bonnie Vera, quit stacking my load, guy. Um, I think I wrote one more down. Let me look. Oh, uh, this one makes sense, <laughs> but I, I just, don't know why I just fucking hate this lyric uh, from Raining Tacos. Um, what? Just open your... <laughs> What's raining tacos? Pull up raining tacos real quick. Oh, no. Is this like that meme? I don't know. Just open your mouth and close your eyes. It's raining tacos. What is this? It's raining tacos. Where did you find this? All it's over the sky. Do you that? know the song? From like yeah. How's it go? J- it's raining tacos. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp oh, is an no. all-in-one productivity Not software this again. where you can manage... Alright, let's just... Maybe we do it later. <laughs> The ads really piss me off. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Casey's like, can you guys stop playing at It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Tacos. No need to ask why. You've never heard this well? Nope. Eyes. Wow. There you go. All right, that's, that's enough. That's, that's um, Harry enough. Grip sounds that's familiar, though. Enough. Uh, okay, my last one was, you know, Snow by the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like, I, I think my favorite part of that song to sing is, jump, step from the road to the sea to the sky, and I do believe that we rely on... Yeah. N- nothing. They were, dude, the 90s were a nonsense time. Yeah, I mean, there was, most Red Hot Chili Peppers songs are just, yeah. like, fun. Um, I got another one. I actually got two more. Katy Perry asks us, do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind? That's a good one. Wanting to start again? Yeah. Again, like, I get where you're coming from. I've never felt yeah. like that once. Yeah. Also, um, I think Will I Am says this. Beats so big, I'm stepping on leprechauns. Yeah, that's... Leprechauns uh, are small. Yeah, you wouldn't need... It would you be would, more impressive if you were stepping on, like, Sasquatches or yeah, something. Yeah, beats so big, I'm stepping on... Giants. All right, that was yeah. hilarious. Um, should we draft some Pokemon that don't exist? I yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this one. I won't lie. Um, you want me to go first? Yeah. All right, these are Pokemon that don't exist. I've got Camafrog. <laughs> it's a frog that's completely camouflaged, and it changes colors and adapts to whatever surrounding it's in. And it sticks its tongue out, and it gets you when you least expect it. Nice. Um, I've got Indoctrine. Okay. He can make his opponent think anything that he wants. I like he that. Can indoctrinate them. I like that a lot. I've got Parasleet. It's a parakeet with like wintery yes. features, and it can make it like hail on you, nice. or like snow blast is like. Sleet, probably. Sleet! Oh, I yeah. didn't think of that. <laughs> well, isn't that like hail? Isn't that the same it's thing? like rain and snow. Okay, yeah. Um, I got Blur... Oh. 
I got burglar rocks. Mm. Uh, during a fight, he holds the trainer at gunpoint and he just takes all their Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> kind of OP. Yeah. Uh, I've got Skulldog. Nice. Uh, it's a bulldog, but it's a skeleton. And nice. it kind of does like Q-Bone esque shit where it like throws bones and yep. stuff. Yeah. Uh, I got Scrollodex. Oh, I like that. He has a Rolodex of all of his opponent's parents' phone numbers. <laughs> and so before the fight starts, he just calls them and they he tells on them and they have to go home. And <laughs> because they're in trouble? The fight, yeah, before the fight starts. <laughs> all right, I've got Gusto. It's a burst of wind that can it it can do like a bunch of wind stuff. It <laughs> can confuse the other Pokemon, too. <laughs> um... I've got a Clectorn. Oh, I like it. He took... He took <laughs> Isn't this like really similar to something else? You're like a Clec... You're like a yeah, superhero. I, just, I love the word eclectic. Yeah. Um, Eclectorn took a study abroad after pokey school. Okay. And he's just like pushes his new ideas on to like his opponents and is like really condescending and they just like hate being around him so they, no one fights him. That's... Yeah. He studied abroad in the Kanto region. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my last one is Ollie. He's a skateboard that has a, a bazooka. Nice. Um, I'm trying to decide between these two. Done with that shit. Oh, uh, actually, I'm gonna give you two. You won't. Cosmics. Love it. He can harness the power of the cosmos and just like turn it into a devastating blow against his opponent. Yeah. Or whichever one you like better, Wave Runner. Yeah. He creates a tsunami that like only he can surf and it just devastates his opponent. I love that. Thank you. You're red hot. I am red hot today. Well, this was just a blast. That was really yeah. great. Whose personality oh are you stealing this weekend? Um, I was just brainstorming. Who, Lauren? I'm actually going to take your personality from your first episode of How Cool because I think you oh, yeah, awesome. embodied a very adventurous person and you were very down to talk to strangers and I love doing that. So I just, I want to be more like that. Thank you. That made my, that made my week. Oh, you're welcome. I will be stealing the personality of that girl's friends from home's friend. Who, <laughs> yes. I'm going to shit all over the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and no, one's, and no one can stop me. No one can stop me. When the cops come, I'll say... The whole, Fi- Fidel? The, the whole, is that a frat? Yeah, Fidel's a frat. There we go. Um, the whole time you're smearing it on the wall, somebody stop me! Yeah, you wouldn't just, dare. It's just my one roommate, Chester, who's <laughs> older. Like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> um, oh, not to do more promo for my new show, How Cool, mm-hmm. but there's a guy, I met a guy who owned a winery, Yeah, uh, and he was very cool, and he had a line where he was like, I mean, he was talking about how he's in the wine business because he loves it, and uh, he was like, "You make a good living, but you're not going to get rich. To, you're not going to get rich in this business." And he was just cool, you know, living that life, and I yeah. think that's pretty cool. That I loved life. the line he said about because um, you were like, "What about other people in the town that do the same yeah. thing?" And he was like, "I don't have competitors. I just have, I have a lot friends. of friends that do the same thing as me." I love yeah, that. he said, "I don't have competitors. I just have friends that do the same I thing." I love yeah. that yeah, line. That's awesome. So also, we, uh, we've been doing this new fun thing at the end of the episode. If you watch the end card, there is Will and I ha- oh, uh, yeah. handpick a good a good playlist a good playlist of yeah. YouTube videos. The one from last week. Uh, was the cheese tax, and the one before that was... Soldiers coming home to their dogs. Yeah. Or so, was it dogs coming home from war to their soldiers? <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny Soldier if Soldier dogs coming home to their your dog was Your dog got drafted, <laughs> but you didn't. Oh my god, have you seen those things lately? It's like old broadcasts of how they used to do the draft. No. It was just a draft board, and they just read birthdays. And if your birthday is on there... That's crazy. You're going to war. Imagine getting drafted to be a drummer boy. Yeah. <laughs> You get there and they're like, he's got really quick hands. You, got, you, got, you better learn quick. Here's a yeah. snare and two sticks for you. All right. This is a great episode. I had a lot of fun today. I did have a lot of fun as well. I'm hey, really hungry. What are people going to comment? I'm oh, yeah. Too. Um, we, need to, we need to start thinking outside the box. Yeah. Well, I kind of, I'm actually, can we make it a real one? Because I'm kind of curious about the, the, the phone call thing. Oh, yeah. More like, are we doing, do we like the phone calls? Yeah, oh, let yes, us let yeah. us know if let you like know, the like, phone calls. Let us know if you want more or less the same give amount. Give your opinion on the phone calls because um, we do get a lot of people that do what we 
say at the end, yeah. which I like. Yeah, it's give good us, an opportunity for feedback. Give us an, give us honest feedback of the the phone call segment. Yeah. Um, and then also follow up with a segment that you would like to see that we've never done. Love it. Do our job for us. Yeah, please. <laughs> We're desperate. All right. We love you guys. Love we you. will see you on uh, Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And then come back and tell us something cool you did. Can't wait. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.